Hello everybody, Phenomenal Sir here, back with another episode of The First 15, the series where I play the first 15 minutes of newer underexposed indie games and then share my thoughts and feelings about them. Today, we have up The Hermit King by Pico Daddy, a short roguelike about hermit crabs. Grow until you get the great golden shell and become the Hermit King. Final work of my master's degree in video game programming and design. Game was published eight days ago. Shows the status of released. Now, the whole page was in English on itch.io, but as I've loaded this up, I see that the options appear to be in not English. So, we are going to push forward. We are going to hope it's not too dialogue heavy. I don't know how dialogue heavy a game about Hermit Crab Ascendance can be, but I guess we're going to find out. So, I have 15 minutes on the clock. And the Hermit King starts now. Okay. Well, I can maybe I can maybe work my way through this. So we press Q. Oh wait, is this use controller? Hang on. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, so ding, I do this, ding, I do this. Oh, why am I, why am I spinning? Don't spin, don't spin. So resistance minus velocity equal average. Okay, so I'm assuming that this just means that it's equal. This one is faster but weaker. This one is stronger but slower. I wanna be a tanky boy. Hey, get out of here, get out of here. Okay, so, nom nom nom. Oh, so I will say the camera is a bit loosey goosey here. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so do you hold it? Okay, so that's just like to guard or whatever. So I'm literally just like running around, eating food, looking for bigger and bigger shells. Okay, I can get with this. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Hmm. Oh god. Lord. Nom nom nom. Oh god, no. There appears to be an issue that I may, it may just be my fault because I'm not fully understanding it, but I appear to be finding myself in a situation where I sometimes just start w moving automatically and can't stop. This is mine, this is mine, this is mine, I'm eating all this. Go to hell, this is my food. Nom nom nom, nom nom nom. Can I beat him up? Yeah, you're dead. I eat you. Nom, nom, nom. So am I, like, getting bigger? I feel like I might be getting bigger. I feel like I'm slowly growing. <gasps> God, stay in your damn shell, bro. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some floatiness to the um, to the camera. Oh no! I messed up. So I just want to be able to qualify for the golden shell. Hmm. I did not know. Hmm. So I guess I just get a little bigger every time I get a bite. Hmm. Nom, nom, nom. Nom. <clears throat> I 
This is definitely interesting. It's got a, a somewhat calming feel to it. As long as you don't mess with the camera too much, not too bad. Come over here, bro. I won't mess you up. I'm just running around grabbing food. I'm not even worried about fighting yet. I just need to establish dominance by stealing all the noms. So I wonder, are the other crabs actually grabbing food and getting bigger as well? Let's see. Are you eating? Well, that one's not. Because <laughs> he did. Oh, it's a whole big treasure trove of food over here. Yeah, sometimes the camera wants to just keep swiveling, and other times it doesn't. I don't know what's causing it to do that. The camera's causing me some some issues. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I'm going to eat this. Right there, it just did it. It, like, swung in a weird way. What? So literally like one hit when you're not wearing a shield and you just die? I disagree. Hey, hey you buddy. Hey, guess what? It's time to die. <laughs> oh, God. Nom, nom, nom. Hmm. Oh my God. What is going on? Is it because I'm trying to use the... Like, now I'm just... <sighs> is it because I was using the controller or the mouse at first and now I'm not... Hang on. Like, maybe it's trying to do both at once. I can see the mouse on the screen. Which is a little distracting. I mean, I know I'm a crab, but Jesus. <sighs> yeah, that didn't seem to have helped, like switching back to, to mouse. It's, it's just, hmm. Away from me. I couldn't even. <clears throat> this camera is pretty bad. Dev, I'm, I gotta tell you, the camera work is starting to grate my nerves a bit. <laughs> this is probably one of the least... Look, I... You see it. Like... Sometimes it just goes. It just decides it wants to spin for no freaking reason. And it's a bit... It's a... I can work with it when I don't have a hermit crab trying to bite my face off and you take one hit and you die. Okay, so I'm getting too big for my shell now. So, I'm going to assassinate this guy. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Oh, you spawned right on top of me. Jerk. Get away. You butt. I hope it's not something where you literally have to eat every piece of food on the beach. 
to be to be big enough. So the stuff you can't wear changes to a different color. Hmm. See, as long as you're not trying to move the camera, it's it's not so bad. He swiped it. Swiped my noms. So are you like legit racing against the other hermit crabs to get big enough to... No, 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 no. Aw. Okay. A little bit slower now, but... You know, on the plus side... Do this. Hey, little guy. I like the music. The hermit crab's movement is nice. Seems believable. I'm still not entirely sure how the mechanics work in terms of the other crabs. Like, if one of them gets big enough for the golden shell first, do, am I just effed? Do I have to fight them to claim the golden shell? Like, what do I have to do? I just had a wild thought of this being like a multiplayer game where all the crabs are controlled by other players. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. But, oh my god, this camera though. This camera is actual badness. It's gotta... Oh, I just saw that one kind of changed a little bit. Does that mean I'm that size now? I can get in that one? Let's see. Does mean that. And it means I can do this too. Boom. Get out of here. Hmm. I just I'm just saying hmm a whole lot. Sorry guys. They seem to mind their own business as long as I don't mess with them, which makes me wonder what my motivation is to actually fight other hermit crabs. Oh my god. I hate it so much. Got it. Hey, buddy. Oh yeah, F your shell, brother. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's chasing me now. He's pissed. Nope. Nope, nope. Oh. He wants me. He's after me. I can barely control where I'm walking, much less fight. Oh, God. Not, you know, I gotta be careful because if that little baby crab that's literally its entire body plus its shell is smaller than my my single claw, if it touches me, I will die. Like, hands down, death for me, right? Hmm. Oh.
Oh. Oh. Okay. I feel like I'm too big for the golden hermit crab shell at this point. I'm too big, right? Like, there's no way. Hmm. I did it! And time is up. <laughs> um. So. I was honestly a little disappointed with this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it says it's a roguelike. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know what roguelikes are. Let me see what roguelike is actually defined as. Okay, so, roguelikes. <coughs> I feel like a lot of people like to throw around the roguelike descriptor, and it turns out I was pretty on point. Roguelike is a subgenre of role-playing video games characterized by a dungeon crawl through procedurally generated levels, turn-based gameplay, grid-based movement, and permanent death of the player characters. The exact definition of a roguelike game remains a point of debate in the video game community. A Berlin interpretation drafted in 2008 defined a number of high and low value factors that distinguished the pure roguelike games Rogue, NetHack, and Angbond from edge cases like Diablo. Since then, with more powerful home computers and gaming systems and the rapid growth of indie video game development, several new roguelikes have appeared with some but not all of these high value factors. Nominally, the use of procedural generation and permadeath, while often incorporating other gameplay genres, thematic elements, and graphical styles. Common examples of these include Spelunky, FTL, The Binding of Isaac, Slay the Spire, and Hades. Okay. I am more comfortable now in saying that this is not a roguelike game. This is something else. I don't know what it is, but it is not what I expected from the admittedly short, only two sentence description. Um, I could see how it has the potential to be fun because, you know, inherently it is kind of a cute idea, right? You're a hermit crab. You're running around on the beach. There's other hermit crabs. You can fight the hermit crabs and you can eat the food and you can upgrade shells and, you know, yada, yada, yada. But as you saw, in terms of actual, like, gameplay, the best option was really to just run around and avoid the other hermit crabs until you're big enough to put the shell on, at which point you win. Combat is really not necessary, and it was aggravating because the blocking and the hitting were a little off. It didn't really feel like I was always hitting where I thought I should be hitting. I never, I don't think I ever successfully blocked an attack. I liked being able to fire my shell forward somehow with magic, like a missile, and that was pretty useful. But at the end of the day, all it did was break my shell, and they, you know, the shells were a limited commodity. The fact that if you don't have your shell, one hit kills you, no matter how much bigger or smaller you are than the other enemies seems a little silly to me. It seems like an unnecessary difficulty check. Like, it seems like it was put in there to make you have to restart, um, which I guess is the only really roguelike thing, right? Because it's considered permadeath because it's making you restart the game. Um, I liked the music. I liked the overall look of the game. Now... I've already touched on the, the fighting a little bit, the combat, but oh my god, the camera. The camera had a mind of its own, and, you know, it could be because I had my Xbox controller plugged in, 
and a mouse plugged in at the same time. But let's be honest, if you have controller support in the game, you need to account for the fact that people are probably not unplugging their computer mouse to play with an Xbox or a whatever PC, you know, a PC controller or just plugging it into a different USB port. So that should not make them the the camera just like lose its shit on at random intervals and start spinning around. Um, also had similar issues a couple of times with the character movement where the character was kind of like he would just decide he was going to keep walking to the left even though I wasn't actually pressing any buttons. Um, so for me overall, I would say it was a bit of a disappointment. It was a bit of a letdown. I Looking at this, I thought this game has potential and I will I will continue with that. I will say, because this is, I mean, this is a nice little time waster. If you were to do something like this, if you were to somehow adapt this concept for like a mobile game, I could see people playing this in their time off, you know, just like kind of running back and forth and maybe something with twin sticks on the screen, whatever. Um, I do see this as a game with potential, and that's the class I'm going to add it to. But in terms of actual execution, I feel as though it was lacking in a few different areas. And for that reason, I would say... I'm torn between two stars and three stars. Now, the combat made me angry. The, the movement was a little janky. And the camera just kind of had a mind of its own. That's three major things. I'm going to say I'm going to say two stars for me. Um, the fact and, and I, you know what? And the other thing I will say is because literally of the things you can do, you can walk and you can fight. And there is actually no reason to fight in the game. You can beat the entire game without doing anything other than walk around, which means that 80% of the inputs that you can do are not actually necessary to, to, to win the game. So for that reason, I would say two stars. Um, hmm. If you all think that I have missed the mark on this one, I will have a link to the game in the description down below. I would encourage you to download it for yourself and show Pico Daddy your support. Um, they do have some other games uploaded. There's actually a total of seven games here. They have Totem Knights, Kiki, Chiefs of Chefs, Chief of Chefs, uh, Roven vs. Bullet, Ghost Conga, and something called Super Wago Original Bros, which is, makes it sound like a Mario platformer-y type thing. So there's a, several different things here that they have made that you can play in browser, that you can download, um, different ways to show your support for the indie dev that made this, which is what this is really all about, right? Um, it's about showing them, showing indie devs your support, trying to help them grow, and you know, encouraging them to continue working at it. And in that, I would say, Pico Daddy, keep working at it. Um, if there are any indie games out there that any of you watching would like for me to play let me know in the comments down below just give me the name of the game and who made it or where I can find it avoid putting in a link though because doing links tends to upset YouTube and it'll delete your comment before I can see it um, just let me know where it is and if I can't find it I'll, I'll, I'll hit you back and try to figure it out and I'll give you a shout out when I do the video so thank you everybody as always for watching as I may have already said, be sure to check out all my other indie game reviews here on my YouTube, as well as all the other videos that are here, most of which have been ported over from my Twitch. And until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there, y'all. Later.